Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you are watching my channel, I want to welcome you back to the 60 plus life. For those who are new here, this is uh, Christine Ochola speaking and uh, I named my channel 60 plus because uh, I have retired and uh, I want to make myself very busy during my retirement I don't want to just sit there and do nothing <laughs> because life starts at 60 according to what I have observed so today it started with rain in the morning but that is, did not deter me from going to work I have done my 10,000 steps and uh, I'm so happy that I have achieved it come rain or sunshine we are here to walk and walk and walk. A friend advised me that unless you are ill, never, never stop coming to walk because people start dying from their legs. <laughs> that is what she told me. And I can confirm that my mother started deteriorating from her legs. So after walking, uh, there is a, a place that we have never visited for for as long as we have stayed here so i decided to walk there and just see what is down there you know this plot of ours is a was a very challenging plot it was so steep and uh, everything that was dug out of it was like uh, put down here to prevent some uh, erosion but i decided to visit it because i planted a banana down there which I noticed that was ready some time back and the birds ate it. Mm, I felt so bad. But now I want to revive this down place and if possible even uh, plant some things down here. Because I have given my grandchildren the backyard so I'm trying to prepare mine so that uh, they also know Danny's garden is down there and ours is, is here. That's what I want to do. Uh, there's some uh, work that always are uh, reserved for men in my culture and uh, one of them is to trim the fence but in Nairobi here where I'm staying I don't want to wait for him to get a chance to trim the fence so I'm going to go against all odds and uh, trim the fence that women don't do in my culture so that is what after walking my 10,000 steps I have decided to trim my fence down here so that I am able to access the garden that I want to use to plant something. Actually I want to put some sweet potatoes here even if it are just 10 I just want to put and then see how it will uh, come out. But the fence has been uh, very bad and uh, I always, I'm always afraid of going down there because I am afraid of snakes so that is why I have never visited down here until today when I'm told that uh, snakes eh, when it rains they don't really come come around looking for shades looking for where to hide so that is why I have confidence of coming down here and just to trim this fence and I have trimmed it as you can see it is looking very nice I, I, I just love it I just love it now and I will uh, plant uh, something uh, down here I also decided to fetch some sand that was poured here almost seven years ago and I am going to use it another time somewhere else that is what I harvested from down here but my fence is looking now very beautiful I can now walk here very freely without being afraid of anything Wow this is great ah, I decided also to visit my flowers how they are doing they are doing and they are as you can see the rains are here with us I'm no longer now pouring water on them but uh, God has blessed us with the showers of uh, with rains that uh, is going to make them now grow very well. I want it to be bushy 
So there are others that you are not able to see, but they are down here. I was advised by those who sell flowers that if I put them, they will cover the ground very well. They are called ground covers. So it will cover the ground very nicely, and then I will not be able to see the, the soil that you are seeing now. Don't mind about the vehicles passing. I stay around a bypass, so there are many, many motorbikes that are really making noise there so the rents are back again in the evening and uh, i have to be in the house and do some cooking today again my recipe is very very simple actually let me tell you today i've always said that my recipes are simple but today this one is the simplest you just need beans and some uh, assorted vegetables that you have green ones of course and so for me i have um, broccoli onions zucchini i also have uh, ho ho green red but you can uh, put all kinds of vegetables that you have and your recipe for for today will be very very lovely so that is what uh, i am preparing I'm cutting them into blocks, blocks. Don't cut them so, don't grate them, don't cut them so small. Even the onions, you just have to cut them and, you know, in a block, in the, the shape, hmm? that big shape as you can see in the video here. Don't cut them small because they will uh, be so soft and uh, will get hold of the beans which is already soft and then your recipe will not come out the way you want it. Or the way I want it to come out if you are cooking it. So, after cutting your veggies, uh, the way you can see, then you put uh, oil in the in the pan, and then you stir fry your veggies. You stir fry the veggies until they are a little tender. Uh, yes, you just fry, 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 and you keep on turning, turning them, turning them until they become tender becoming tender add uh, salt uh, to taste then after adding salt I have uh, I put different uh, spices in a bowl that I'll just pour at once instead of putting them spoon by spoon by spoon that will waste a lot of time I don't want to keep you here for long so what I have put in that bowl is paprika cumin coriander garlic powder and that is what I have poured here. And then you mix it very, very well. As you can see, it is uh, hmm, starting to look very, very nice. And it is not only the looks, it is very yummy too. Then when you have mixed well, just add your beans. Of course, pre-cooked beans. And then mix again well for another maybe 10 minutes because uh, maybe the you have removed beans from the fridge so they may be very cold so make sure that you give it a good time to make it hot enough and it is ready as you can see uh, very sweet I enjoyed it yeah with avocado some family members uh, used to wrap some rice but you can uh, enjoy it even just like this very very nice thank you friends for being here with me always i love you all wherever you are may god bless you and make you a blessing to somebody else if my video is appealing or you like it please share it with someone or with your friend to make my channel grow as for now bye see you in the next video